Oh, good morning guys. I look so bad, but it's fine because I woke up like 10 minutes ago, so I have an excuse. Uh, today is October the 24th and we are flying to Singapore today. Woo! I'm very, very happy, but before I do anything, before anything can even happen, I need my cup of tea, so I'll be right back. Too hot, but it's fine. We have our tea. Anyway, on with the day. So the agenda for today, uh, our car is coming to pick us up in about four and a half hours, which gives me four and a half hours to finish packing, clean this house, have a shower, and maybe do some editing, but I don't know if that last one's gonna happen. I did bring, I'm gonna bring my laptop and I'm just gonna bring it on a plane. It's like a seven hour journey, so I feel like I can at least spend a couple hours editing and then the other couple hours watching all the new movies that are gonna be on the plane. It's like literally my favorite part of flying. It's just watching the movies that I just don't have time to watch at the cinema. I used to live right next to a cinema back in the day and I was there every weekend like either on a Saturday or on a Sunday it was just one of the things that we did it was like a ritual because it was a cine world and we had one of those unlimited cinema passes so we would just see what was going on and it, it turns out that there's a new movie that is out like every week so we would just go see the new movie I was on top of all the movies and then I moved away and now life is just so busy that I've barely got time to like watch one on TV, let alone leave my house and go to a movie theatre and stand in a queue, buy a ticket and stand in another queue and buy popcorn and stand in one more queue and sit in a seat and then do 25 minutes of trailers, then watch a movie, then watch all the way to the credits to see if there's one of those little video things at the end, then travel all the way back home. Yeah. I just don't have time to do that. That's like a five hour trip just for a one and a half hour movie. Ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. But the only time I do have time for that is on a plane because I can't go anywhere. And from London to Dubai, I believe it is six and a half hours or seven hours. No, it's shorter on the way back. On the way there, it's about seven hours. So I think I will give two and a half hours to some editing and then I'm sure we'll have some food as well and then I will give a couple hours to whatever new movies are going to be on because they always, Emirates always have like the latest movies like stuff that just came off the cinema so I'm going to keep up to date and then I will spend the rest of that sleeping because those life lap beds, great, great. And there's one bit on the whole journey that I hate the most is going through airport security. Every time I think I've got it down, I'm like, yep, yeah, laptop out, this out, big batteries out, belt off, watch off. And then I walk through and they're like, sorry, you gotta walk through again. And I'm like, why? So, um, so yeah, they're like, you didn't take your shoes off. And I'm like, I'm wearing flip flops. You can see my feet, but you know. It is what it is. So enough talking now. I have to go and do some stuff. And I'll probably see you again at the airport. See you later. Bye. Ooh, giving you curls. Curls. So I managed to get everything done. I even managed to do my hair and it's actually looking pretty good because I've had it up and away for like a couple of weeks. So it's been nice to let my curls and they seem to be back with a vengeance. So. Ding. Uh, yeah, waiting for the car. I managed to clean up. I have sorted out the cats. I've sorted out everything. And time to go to Singapore. Going to Singapore. To Singapore. Mm. Oh, my bags are perked. Pack, pack, perk. We are currently in the lounge right now. Just had some food because we hadn't actually eaten anything all day. And uh, now we're just uh, chilling a bit. We've actually got a lot of time before our flight, but we wanted to come and do some work in the lounge. Now, I'm pretty sure I've already showed you what the lounges look like, but we're in Heathrow instead of Gatwick this time. So do you want a tour? I'll give you a quick tour, super quick tour. 
So this is all seating area and it goes all the way around there and all the way up as far as you can see which is like really really big and then in this section there's like the areas where you can sit and eat and there's a food area over there and if you go all the way to the other side they've got like the exact same thing twice so that is that let's go have a look at the food hi so they've got like a pretty cool hot food selection today we've got uh, cannelloni, chicken, curry. Why not us? Oh. And uh, say hi, guys. Uh, <laughs> hi, thank you. <laughs> and then we've got some pies. Uh, we've got beef, and then we've got fish. And then they also have a nice selection of like salads. They've got juices. Got fruit. Beetroot carpaccio with the goat cheese and crushed black pepper. Well, you're just too much for me, aren't you? <laughs> we got uh, with a cocktail salad and poached prawns. See? With the herbs. This all we looks so delicious, guys. Crudities with the dips. We got chives and salmon. Very nice. Tomato salsa, carrots. We got cold meze. Nice. <laughs> so basically, there's so much food here that I. I'm not going to be able to eat all of this and wait until you see the desserts. Ready? Look at that. Oh my gosh. In fact, that that one looks really I'm going to I'm going to take one of these. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. And then you've got like fruit and cheese. You've got like finger food. You've got these cool things all over there. Canapes. You get really spoiled here, guys. And it's all free. Nice. And then you get to the drinks corner. So you've got the champagne in this corner here. And then there's a nice coffee machine here. And you've got a nice drinks fridge with like the soft drinks and the beers and ciders. And then you've got the hard liquor here. And of course, teas and coffees and honeys. And that is the whole selection. And you just kind of serve yourself, have a drink, and then go and sit down. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. So, hold on while I eat this. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, it's good. It's very good. So, as you can see, as you're walking through, lots of seating areas. And as you can see down there, it basically repeats what's on this side, on that side. And then also, when you get in, there's all these, um, magazines and newspapers in case you decide you want to have a read and that's the entrance and the, the actual entrance is downstairs but you come up here and then that's a quiet area over there and then just around the corner you've got the bathrooms which has um showers which has showers and uh um and some changing areas and there uh and i think because it's emirates there's also a prayer room um and uh, yeah, and a contemplation room. So that's it, that is the lounge, it's pretty cool. And uh, they vary in size, but the one in Dubai is probably the largest because obviously Emirates is is for the UAE. So when you get to uh, Emirates Airport, uh, business class has an entire floor which spans the entire airport and it's humongous and then first class have a floor on top of that which also spans the entire airport and there's a spa in there and there's all sorts in there a coffee shop and everything and it's a it's really really nice and it basically repeats this whole thing about 12 times in a row with all the seating um yeah and that's uh that is a little tour of the lounge i hope you guys enjoyed um we're just gonna go chill. I think we might go and have a look at the shops in Heathrow because I think we're in Terminal 3 right now. And uh, yeah, so we've still got like an hour and a bit to go. So if we get a bit bored, we might go and have a look at the shops. All right. Okay, our flight's been called for boarding and we are gonna get on the plane. Yay.
feel like a flamenco dancer with these sleeves. Olé! 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 We're just waiting to take off right now. Um, we've just had all the safety stuff do, done. And now they're telling us about all the cool movies and stuff we can watch. I am gonna watch Wonder Woman because I haven't seen that yet and it's on here. I'm also gonna watch Baby Driver because I also haven't seen that and it's on here. So those are the two main movies I'm gonna watch today on this flight. And then we'll see what else I'm gonna watch on the next flight. And also I'm gonna do work because I said I was gonna do work. So I'm gonna do some work but I'm mostly gonna watch watch the movies. So we're just uh we're just uh, slowly making our way over to the uh, taxiing to the takeoff area and then I think we're gonna take off in like five minutes so we're just chilling 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 yeah. got the menu so let's have a look and see what we've got to eat today hold on so we've got sea oops seafood bits smoked salmon timbale whatever that is and chicken liver pate so i'm not sure which one i'm gonna go probably the smoked salmon timbale whatever that is and then the main course you've got beef cheeks with thyme juice roast guinea fowl cod cheek curry cod cheek curry okay um and chicken schnitzel and swiss cheese sandwich and i think i'm gonna go for the roasted guinea fowl and the dessert, I normally just go for the fruit because I don't really do chocolate so much. But that looks pretty good. But I'm trying not to have too much dairy, so probably we'll stick with the fruit. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Looks good. So we just got to Singapore Airport. It has been the longest flight of all the long flights that ever existed. I'm super tired, I look super bad, and it's already the 25th. So I'm going to probably squish today and tomorrow's videos together because it's eight o'clock in the evening. And for us, tomorrow's gonna be the 26th when it will be the 25th for you guys. So I don't know how it's gonna work out, but I'll figure it out. See you tomorrow, bye. Okay, so we just got to our room and it is really, really nice. As far as room goes, this one is pretty nice, nice and modern, how I like my rooms. And the view is really, really amazing. It's dark right now, but even with the city all lit up, it's really, really pretty. So hopefully I would have shown you a bit of that and you'd be seeing it. But uh, yeah, very excited to show you how it looks tomorrow morning with all the sun up and everything. So I'll see you then, bye.